your reality. It's where um, we want our kids prepared for 21st century classrooms, for college and career. That's what really is behind the development of our programs. At the same time, the kids are digital natives. You know, they're used to technology being everywhere, and they shouldn't necessarily have to power down when they come to the classrooms. And so, obviously, that's what this is all about, today's all about, and that's driving a lot of our decisions as well. Um, and as a teacher, I know probably many of us can relate to having a wide range of learners in our classrooms. Um, I remember teaching algebra and having such a range um, in my classroom that I didn't necessarily know what particular intervention or um, instructional strategy I should use with all different kids. So technology is a great solution for that. Essentially, we were born at Stanford. Um, it was a research project that was started by the nation's leading learning scientist, Pat Soupies, and he really, um, back in the 60s, discovered that the, or realized that the computer could change the face of education. Um, that's a picture of him and a little girl in the 60s with a very large computer screen. And um, from there, he dedicated his life and his career to figuring out how. And this adaptability really was born at Stanford, where we've um, fine-tuned how to find that optimal level of learning for kids. You know, what is challenging enough to keep them engaged, but what's not too challenging they give up, and not too easy they get bored. And that very sophisticated algorithm um, has really been fine-tuned since then, and Stanford's come out with some great digital programs. Um, unfortunately, they looked and felt like research programs at Stanford. You know, they were very effective, but they weren't the most engaging, um, they need some significant updates from a technology perspective, and that's where Redbird came in. Essentially, we're updating those programs, making them available on all devices, iPad, Chromebook, laptop, um, making them very engaging, and that's what we're excited to show you in the back. Um, at the same time, not only is it fun and engaging for kids, but they're very well researched. Um, I've been in this industry for a while and have very rarely come across programs with such a strong research background. And that's important, you know, when you're looking at supporting your kids academically, you gotta, you don't have time to mess around. You want to find out what really works. Um, Pedro DeBoer and his team at NYU investigated and looked into all the research behind the programs and were blown away at not only how impactful they are for kids, but also the research strategies that Pat and his team at Stanford took to um, con conduct those ongoing studies are very, very sound. And so Redbird, this is the group that essentially is taking uh, these programs into the 21st century. Um, Mac, um, Mac Fields is our president. He has a very inspiring story. Um, born in Barbados, grew up in Philadelphia, um, was it supposed to succeed? You know, he was tracked, um, you know, in an intervention class, and, and because of the idea of personal personalized learning, his community rose up around him, and he, um, with that extra support, was very successful. He went to Morehouse, first African American to graduate um, from Harvard with an MBA and a master's in education, and attributes that to. Um, personalized learning and being able to have those opportunities, and that's something we're very committed to, um, is giving kids those opportunities, and technology is a great way to do that. And so we really um, have these offerings to support you with that. We have digital curriculum, um, which we're showing our new math program in the back. We also support lots of schools in implementing technology. So teachers have such a critical role in technology implementation, and, but it's, it looks different. You know, you, you're really shifting from a stage on a stage um, to integrating technology into rotations. You have all of a sudden iPads in your room or whatever it is, but that classroom looks different, and providing support for that um, is really important. And so the, the math program that we have in the back um, addresses Common Core standards for K-7. And what that is is the progressions to algebra. So identified by Common Core, what are those core um, standards that are necessary for kids to master? Um, we are, it's very rich in synthesizing and analysis and getting kids to think and reason, which we know is really important. And um, I personally was blown away of the capabilities of that piece of it in, the, in a technology platform. So we'd love to come and show you some of that. Um, and the backbone is really that personal
personalized pathway that was developed at Stanford so that kids are working at the level that's appropriate for them. So the, the, the program itself is centered on engagement, um, both from a um, working at the right level, kids working at the right level, but also through the game piece and the connections to real life. Um, every unit has a step and theme. So you have fourth graders building satellites and learning as a culinary project on multiplication. They're seeing how multiplication can translate to real life. Um, we just also have kids obviously are taught the content through multiple instructional modes. So not just explicit instruction, but also lots of exploratory ways of digital manipulatives. They're applying the content through um, assessment and, and, and practice type problems, similar to what they'll see in Smarter Balance. And what really sets it apart are these projects, this project-based learning that is a culminary um, task for the kids to apply that learning. So, love to show you all those. Um, we're in the back. 